What is up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if it is your first time here, welcome. So today I'm going to be filming a current favorites video. I used to do current favorites videos all the time, maybe like once a month or at least like once a season and then I kind of just dropped off and I don't really know why. So I decided to film another one and since it's been a while, We've got quite a few favorites to get through today. I also apologize for the very boring background we have here, but you know what? I figured I should sit for this video because it's probably going to be long and I'm not going to be like trying stuff on for you. So, you know, we're just we're just working with the space we got. This actually reminds me of the very first YouTube videos I ever filmed, which like were in front of just a white wall in my bedroom. So you know what? It's fine. I'm just, this is just a throwback. But I wanted to stay in the bedroom because the acoustics are better in here with the carpet. So anyway, before we get started, everything that I talk about in this video will be linked in the description box down below as usual, along with all of my personal links and discount codes as well. So let's go ahead and hop right into it. So I guess we can kind of just break things down into categories. So we'll start with food and drink slash like supplements. And then we'll get into some beauty products and then we'll just get into a couple random things. I guess we might as well just start with my favorite always food. Okay, so the first favorite that I don't think I've shared on YouTube, but I've shared on my Instagram story. Honestly, most of this stuff I've shared on my Instagram, Instagory. <laughs> Honestly, most of this stuff I have shared on my Instagram story probably at least once, um, but I have not shared it on YouTube. So here we go. So these are little hot pockets from this brand called Mikey's and these are paleo, gluten-free, vegetarian, plant-based, and dairy-free. They do have some that have meat in them, but all of these are gluten-free and dairy-free, which is absolutely amazing because I'm gluten-free and I try not to do a ton of dairy and these actually taste amazing. They, I mean, I haven't had a real Hot Pocket in many, many years, but they taste so similar to real Hot Pockets if my memory serves me correctly. Like, these are so freaking good. They are a little pricey, I will say, but for me, I'm kind of like, you know, I can't get a Hot Pocket anywhere else, so I'm down for it. And the ingredients are all better and healthier than an actual Hot Pocket. Um, but I buy these from Sprouts. If you are in Colorado or like the Denver area, they have them at Sprouts. And I'm sure they have a store locator on their website as well. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. And there's a ton of different like flavors too. The next thing is a Magic Spoon cereal. So I found out about these guys through Instagram. A lot of people were talking about them, but it's basically high protein, low sugar, low carb cereal. It says on the side here, high protein, keto friendly, gluten free, grain free, soy free, wheat free, naturally flavored and delicious childlike cereal for grownups. I think that blueberry is my favorite flavor. And there's also one that tastes like um, Fruit Loops. That's pretty good as well. But yeah, honestly, I struggle with cereal being gluten free because most of like the fun cereal I can't have because they have gluten in them and then if I go down to like the healthy cereals I've tried so many of them and so many of them just taste like cardboard and are really not very good um, So I was very excited that these were actually super good and also super low sugar and high protein So like that's amazing. So I do not have a discount code for these But I'm sure if you just googled online for discount codes, um, you could probably find some my next favorite are these gummies from pink panda They have sour ones and they have just like regular ones and they're basically just low sugar gummies You know, I just I love my treats so a lot of times I just try to find like healthier versions of my favorite things but I love these for a treat at the end of the day and there is only 90 calories in a bag and they're high fiber and these I would compare these to smart sweets if you've tried smart sweets they're kind of similar obviously the taste is different but like it's a similar idea just like a low sugar version of your favorite candy and this brand actually did give me a discount code and I will put that in the description box down below okay now for drinks this this is poppy and this is a prebiotic soda so it's just like a 
kind of healthy soda. There's only 20 calories in a can and five grams of sugar, so a lot less than a typical soda. And it actually has apple cider vinegar in it too, so very good for digestion and gut health. I again found out about these on Instagram and I looked at the store locator and I found them at Sprouts, but you can look online to see where they are near you. Some flavors are better than others in my opinion. I like these strawberry strawberry lime I want to say it is I like the strawberry one and this one's pineapple mango um, the ginger lime one kind of tastes like ginger beer to me which I think I overdid Moscow mules a long time ago so that one's not my favorite but they have quite a few flavors and now getting into some supplements so liquid IV is definitely a new obsession of mine I think I tried it for the first time like a month or two ago and I love it so these are just little electrolyte drink packets and they taste super good. This one is watermelon flavored. I've tried quite a few of the flavors and I honestly haven't been disappointed with any of them. So literally whatever sounds good is probably gonna taste good. But there are 45 calories in a stick, 11 grams of sugar, so kinda high. And they don't have any artificial sweeteners or flavors or preservatives or colors or anything like that. So these are something that I like to drink if I'm having a super sweaty workout. I just mix it up in a shaker cup with water and drink it during my workout. They also have these matcha ones for energy that I really like as well if you're a matcha fan. Um, these ones are lemon ginger but matcha flavored um, and Liquid IV did also give me a discount code and I will put that in the description box down below as well. And so the next thing is the Live Body products that I have been super super into recently. If you're not familiar with Live Body, it is the supplement brand that I've been working with for almost two years now. I love their products. They're all natural. Nothing Nothing artificial, no fillers, no additives, no crap in them. Um, so first things first, the marine collagen, the flavored marine collagen, amazing. They launched these in, I want to say like the end of summer last year in three flavors and unflavored. Um, and I drink it every single day. I'm obsessed with it. All the flavors are super good. This one's pina colada and they also have strawberry daiquiri and Cosmo. Literally every single one of them is amazing. And collagen is really good for your hair, skin, and nails. It's also really good for bone and joint strength and gut health as well. So amazing, would recommend. And then the other thing that I've been loving is their natural sleep aid. So this is a mixture of melatonin, ashwagandha, and magnesium. And this stuff, let me tell you, it knocks me out because obviously those are all very calming ingredients. It's a drink mix. It's lemon tea flavor and I just mix it up. And it also like, I love mixes, drink mixes because it makes me drink more and stay more hydrated, drink more water. Um, but I'll just mix it up maybe like 30 minutes to an hour before I want to go to bed and sip on it while I'm like winding down for the night. And then I'm just like, so ready for bed. I don't have this every night because I don't wanna like get reliant on any sleep products, but if there's a night where I'm like, I'm really hyped up and I just wanna calm down or like I really just need a good night's sleep that night, that's when I'll take this. And I do have a Live Body discount code. It is Shannon20 and that will be in the description box down below as well. Okay, the next thing is Vita5 gummy vitamins. You guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me talk about these on my story before, but I love them. They taste super, super good. It's basically just like gummy vitamins that are marketed more towards adults. Obviously, children can probably take these too. Check with your doctor. But these are so good. Um, the serving size for each of them is two gummies, and I take these every morning. So what we have here is my multivitamin, elderberry for immunity, vitamin C for immunity, vitamin D3, which is also really good for immunity, and apple cider vinegar. I don't take the apple cider vinegar ones every single day because obviously sometimes I drink a drink that has apple cider vinegar in it, so it kind of just like varies for that. If you are not a pill person or if you're bad at swallowing pills, I definitely would recommend taking gummy vitamins instead. Obviously, you can check with your doctor to see if there's like any specific vitamin you think you need, or you can check and do like blood work 
to see what you might be deficient in. But for me personally, what I always recommend to people is for anyone, just a solid multivitamin because it gives you just a little bit of everything in case you might not be absorbing it properly from your um, food. And then I also always recommend vitamin D for anyone, especially in the winter time. If you're not going outside enough, you're not getting enough sunlight, which is me. I barely go outside in the winter time because it's cold. So yeah, the vitamin D and the multi are definitely big ones I would recommend. And I do have a Vita5 discount code that will also be in the description box down below. Okay, so let's get into some beauty items here. So first, I guess we'll start with hair. So the first thing is this Moroccan oil a uh, perfect defense and it's a heat protectant spray but it's a dry spray that you can spray on your hair when your hair is dry something that i do is i like to let my hair air dry and maybe like a day later or just like by the time it's dry i will style it so i don't really like spraying a wet heat protectant spray in my hair so i looked for a dry one and this one had great reviews and i'm definitely a fan and the other thing is this um, instant defrizzer spray from living proof it's basically like a static spray my hair has been super super staticky lately because it's so freaking dry in Colorado especially in the winter time and I tried the dryer sheet trick where you just rub a dryer sheet on your hair and that did not work for me so I don't really know what went wrong there but I picked this up from Sephora and it works super well um, so yeah both of these are from Sephora and I will link them both down below the next thing also from Sephora and I think I've talked about this in a video before is the Laneige I think that's how you pronounce it, not really sure. Um, lip sleeping mask, this is amazing. If you have dry lips, I know it's winter time, a lot of people have dry lips. Um, this is like the top rated product at Sephora for dry lips. And I don't even just use it while, like before bed. I use it in the daytime as well. I know it says it's for sleeping, but like you can use it whenever you want. And it's basically just a pot and the pot actually lasts quite a while. I've had this since I want to say November and I've been using this like every day, a lot of times twice a day since November and it's lasted me a long time. Like a little goes a long way. You don't have to like clump it on there. Um, but this would recommend. The next thing also from Sephora is this Ilia mascara. So Ilia is a clean beauty brand at Sephora, which I think means there's like a bunch of different things, but it doesn't have any like sulfates, phthalates, like any SLS, like bad kind of ingredients in it. So I don't know about you guys, but I have really sensitive eyes um, and fragrance. And it's funny, fragrance on my lips is absolutely fine, but added fragrance and like artificial fragrance on my skin or near my eyes really Really, like irritates them so a lot of drugstore mascaras have just like some weird ingredients or like fragrances in them and they irritate my eyes and I'm also not a big fan of really like thick bushy um, lash wands so this lash wand there's actually like two parts to it there's like there's a shorter part and then a longer part you can kind of like do both or use whatever part you like the most but basically this is like a very thin small wand so it's not like super bushy when a super thick bushy wand when I use one of those I end up like just getting mascara everywhere I do have lash extensions again on my upper lashes now so I haven't been using this as much I still use this on my bottom lashes but when I didn't have the lash extensions extensions I definitely appreciated having the smaller wand and this doesn't irritate my eyes the next thing that I've been loving I actually found on Amazon um, these are from a brand called hello cider and they're apple cider vinegar face wipes um, apple cider vinegar obviously has a ton of uses I am not the type of person that will tell you apple cider vinegar is for like weight loss or anything I use it for other purposes <laughs> than that but it definitely has its place um, in skincare too actually so this basically has apple cider vinegar lavender tea tree witch hazel and chamomile um, and no like artificial anything no none of the bad stuff that would irritate your skin and they're just these little pads and it's basically just a toner and my skin has definitely been liking these a lot I feel like the apple cider vinegar is really good to like fight blemishes so yeah definitely a fan of this up next we have beauty sleep from Tula this is my favorite nighttime moisturizer from Tula at the moment so this moisturizer actually has AHAs and vitamin C in it which is so good for your skin it like brightens your skin plumps your skin kind of like 
I guess rejuvenates I don't even know but honestly I feel like it's sometimes funny when people are like oh I could notice a difference right away when I used a certain product because for me personally it doesn't happen for me right away with most products most products like I have to use them for a solid amount of time before I notice a difference but Literally the first time I used this I there was a noticeable difference the morning after like my skin just seemed brighter and Happier, I don't even I don't even know how to explain it um, But yeah, this is definitely my favorite Tula moisturizer at the moment for the PM I do not use this um, in the morning in the morning I've just been using more of just like a plain calming moisturizer um, but for nighttime Definitely a fan. And I do have a Tula discount code that I will share in the description box as well. The next thing that I actually talked about on my Instagram story very recently um, is this eyebrow tint kit. So my eyebrows, <laughs> They were so blonde, they were translucent most of my life, and then I actually started dyeing them at the very end of high school, um, and then I got them microbladed. I've had them microbladed twice, and it kind of fades a little bit, and I have blonde hairs that grow on top of it. So I still dye them, and this is the tint kit that I use. This is from Amazon, lasts you so freaking long, and it's so easy. Basically, there are all of these little capsules with the dye color in them. And then there's a developer and there's a little pot and a mixer in here and you just mix up the color and the developer and just put it on your eyebrows with a little like paint stick in here um, and leave it on for literally two to five minutes and wipe it off and then your eyebrows have been dyed. Um, the longer you leave it on, the darker the color will be. So I leave it on for not that long. I do like a dark brow, but I don't want it to be like black. I like a brown eyebrow, um, but yes, amazing. Super, super easy. Definitely would recommend for blondies and this will be linked down below. Okay, my next favorite are these camel toe proof thongs from JIV, Jiv, Jive, not sure how to pronounce it, but JIV Athletics. So again, I heard about these on Instagram and I was very curious, so I wanted to give them a try. The gusset has a thicker material in it that just hides camel toe and I have tested these and they work. Um, so most of the time now, I always go for leggings that don't have front seams to avoid camel toe, but I still have some leggings with front seams that I like. I just don't really wear as much anymore because camel toe is just, first of all, it's just uncomfortable. Obviously it draws unwanted attention from, from creepy men, um, but it's uncomfortable to have a seam just like chilling right there, in my opinion. Um, I'm like, who decided that that was gonna be a thing for women? Probably a man. Um, but, but anyway, I'm definitely a fan of these. They definitely work. They are pretty pricey, I will say. So keep that in mind. But the material is pretty thick and feels to be very good quality. I just wear these in a size small and they have been sold out for a while. Um, so I'm waiting for them to restock so I can buy more. So don't buy all of them <laughs> when they restock. I got this cut, this is their high rise cut because they reminded me of my favorite cut of Victoria's Secret underwear. That's like pretty much kind of like the same cut. These are like the seamless midi thongs from Victoria's Secret. I'll link these down below as well. But this is what I usually wear, obviously significantly cheaper than these, um, but they don't do anything for camel toe. But these are pretty nice for just like a solid seamless pair of underwear to wear under leggings. And they don't roll because the sides, there it just like takes up more area on the sides. I feel like when there's like a super thin band, it just like has a tendency to roll. Um, so yeah, these ones are good, but not quite as good as these. The last thing is from Hyper Rice, and it is the Hyper Rice Venom. And basically, this is a warm up and recovery tool specifically for your back, and it applies heat and vibration on your back, which helps you warm up for a workout, or if your back is sore, it helps speed up the recovery process. You wear it like this it kind of looks like a waist trainer when you put it on 
don't worry guys, I would never market that to you. Um, and the back here um, will like light up and it just applies heat and vibration and it feels so freaking good. I've been loving it. Andre's been loving it. And also um, mixed with putting on the Cure Nutrition CBD salve beforehand. This is basically kind of like Icy Hot, but with CBD in it. I will link this below as well. Um, these two together, oh, feels so nice. We also did get a vibrating foam roller from Hyper Rice as well. They have just like a ton of recovery products. So if you or your mans or your parents or whoever is looking for recovery products or you wanted to like get someone a gift for, you know, birthday or holiday or something, I feel like these would be amazing gifts. They have a lot of things that are targeted for like shoulders or knees or um, legs, like so many different products. So that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and what you think of them too. Also let me know if you like current favorites videos. I don't really know why I dropped off with these, but let me know if you want me to keep doing them because clearly I have a lot of things to talk about. <laughs> um, so that is it you guys. Thanks again for watching and I will catch you next time.